Indeed, gastric cancer is still a difficult disease to treat and we have different cytotoxics uh, that have an impact, but the impact uh, remains modest of the different cytotoxics. So what we have to do now is to look into novel targeted agents. Um, the first one where we had some data a couple of years ago already was uh, trastuzumab uh, in the subgroup of patients with a HER2 positive gastric cancer. And now at this meeting at this ESMO World Congress uh, on GI cancers, we have for the first time a large randomized study um, in second line uh, metastatic gastric cancer with ramucirumab, which is a monoclonal antibody targeting the vascular and the telial growth factor receptor, so the VGFR2 receptor, uh, with ramucirumab in second line. And in this study in metastatic gastric cancer, uh, patients were randomized between ramucirumab or placebo, and there was a statistically significant survival difference uh, shown uh, for patients treated with ramucirumab. Uh, Toxicity was, uh, was very low, uh, so that, that these are important data because for gastric cancer we don't have a lot of second line uh, treatment options. Uh, we, we know that with docetaxel or with aeronautic and also in second line in fit patients there is an impact. Uh, the data of the REGARD study are therefore important and they will be m even more important in the future when we see results of the RAINBOW study. The RAINBOW study is a study in second line which looks at paclitaxel plus or minus ramucirumab. The study has finished recruitment today. We're waiting the results and they will be presented in the near future. If that study is also positive, then the data of the REGARD study that were presented by Dr. Tabernero here in Barcelona will be very, very important because then we have a concept, proof of concept, also that angiogenesis inhibition um, with a monoclonal antibody uh, is uh, very important um, in gastric cancer. So that's, that, that's potentially a second antibody in gastric cancer that can be potentially uh, useful for patients after the older data of trastuzumab. Of course it will be important also to understand which patients do benefit uh, selection of patients, uh, but we are not yet there. First, uh, they're looking at, um, in the studies, it's looked at whether, what is the real benefit of ramucirumab in this setting. Uh, with the tyrosine kinase inhibitors, we do not have yet tyrosine kinase inhibitors that have a proven activity in gastric cancer. Several have, are being studied, such as lapatinib, um, uh, which targets EGFR and HER2. Um, we don't have yet a lot of data and I don't expect them to be spectacular, but an important new uh, class of agents may be agents in gastric cancer targeting uh, CMET, because CMET is a very important target. We know that around 40% of patients with uh, gastric cancer overexpress CMET. You can find that on immunochemistry. Um, there are two directions. Uh, there are several studies ongoing with CMET antibodies. And there are studies also ongoing with, uh, with C-MET tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Um, they, we don't know in which patients uh, C-MET inhibitors will be active. We don't have a proof of activity yet, but there is a good rationale. And there are some phase three studies that have started also. And also at this meeting, uh, there was a very nice uh, keynote lecture on the role of C-MET, uh, not only in gastric cancer, but in different cancers. Uh, in, um, and that's very important.